All right, how's everybody doing? I originally bought this pilot remote for my dump trailer. It works great, except for the fact that you can only use one of the functions at a time. So it really limits you if you want to go up and, oh, in my case, I have dumpsters. It limits you, you can't pull the dumpster up and move the the frame up and down, tilt it up and down at the same time. So I bought this remote crane. I don't know. So I bought this remote crane uh, control and it looks pretty sturdy. The name of it is Tele, Telecremote, I'll put the information in the video, but it doesn't come with anything other than this wiring diagram, which does me no good. I'm sure you guys know how the Chinese instructions go, and you have all these papers, all these wires. So I went through the trouble to figure out what all this is. I searched all over YouTube and the internet and found nothing, at least in a language I could understand. So I wanted to share that here. I will show you what each one does and what I did. Use this at your own risk. I am not a professional. I do not have any instructions. This was all based off of error, trial and error. So over here, I have a, just a 12 volt battery charger and your brown, brown wire is going to go to the ground negative on your 12 volt battery. And then your orange, maybe you can see this better. Orange and red will go together and go to the positive side of the battery. Again, I'm just using a battery charger so I didn't have to, so I can work here at the bench. Okay, so now that I got it hooked up there, I'm sorry, orange and black. There's a red in here also. You're not going to use the red if you're going to use this. For a winch or a hydraulic system. I'm going to use it for a winch and a hydraulic system. Uh, this thing's pretty nice. It mounts here. It's got like a, a shock dampener. Um, so this is the fob. It's got up, down, uh, east, west, north, and south on it. Plus it has a start and a stop. So now we're left with all these other wires. And it's pretty simple from here with the fact that you have to put some diodes in here for one way uh, circuitry for your hydraulics. I got an old tester here. I'm going to use that just to show you. So I'm just going to put the black connector underneath the negative. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in to give it some power. So when I push the green, it's going to kick on. You should maybe hear it. It kind of clicks. Um, you also have a um, LED down here. It'll flash green every once in a while. It tells you it's on. So I know from the instructions, green and yellow are up and down so I'm going to go ahead and put this connector on the yellow and test it it's not down so it's up I get 12 volts if I push it up and there so if I go to the green the green should be down and then I'm only going to use two more I'm not going to use all six of these functions just because I have a winch up and or in and out 
and then I have the the rails for the dump trailer is going to be uh, up and down also so I'm just going to use south and north I don't think you can relabel these but it's not a big deal so white and gray are for the north and south and that means there we go we're not going to use purple pink or blue so if I go to white and gray I believe white is north yep and I believe gray is south yep I don't know if you can see that maybe if I do it this way So the gray is for the south, and the white is for north. All right, so again, your brown is ground. Out of all these wires, your brown is ground. Your Red, black, and orange are all power wires, but we're only going to use the black and the orange. The red is for something to do with the crane. Sorry, I'm, I have no idea. I don't use the red. It doesn't do anything for me. So I'm going to use orange and black. Yes, orange and black is the power. You're going to put that to the positive terminal on your battery. Then your diagram will actually show you you have, I don't know if you can see that, will actually show you that yellow is up, green is down, blue is east, purple, it actually says pearl, is west, gray is south, white is north, and pink is run or start. So obviously that's not what I'm going to use. Um, this is a 12 volt system. It says down here it's DC 12 volt, 50, 60 hertz. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use north and south for the hyd uh, for the hydraulics. That means I have to share wires because you have the solenoid and then you have the, the the pump. So not only do you have the pump, but you got the direction whether the pump's up or down gonna lift up or down because I have a power up on power down so you have to put you have to split the wires I'm gonna show you how to do that and I get all set up and then uh, I'll show you how the, what that looks like and what you need okay so the only things you need is four pieces of wire I don't know probably eight ten inches long you need a couple connectors these two are going to be for your battery posts we got the battery posts that screw down with a wing nut and you'll need to have one little connector to go on this solenoid for the pump or actually I think it's the actuator for the pump motor and then you need two male connectors and that would be for the solenoids of telling the direction of the pump and then we just I'm sorry, you'll need also two diodes. These are 15 amp diodes. If you see here, um, it has a little gray ring. That gray ring is the direction the power will flow. The, what these diodes do is they allow power to go this way through it, but not back through this way. And the way you have to wire this for the hydraulic pump and motor, you have to have a diode or it won't work. So I'm going to get all that wired up, or soldered up, and then uh, come back and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, I got this all wired up here. I want to show you guys. This looks kind of crazy, but I'll explain it to you. So I'm going to use my uh, south and north buttons to actuate the hydraulics up and down for the dump trailer. So, you got a couple things going on here. You have to, each one of these wires has to power the solenoid to turn, 
to power the motor and then if I'm using my white wire which I believe is the uh, north I want to go but I'm going to use it for down then I have to also tell the pump the direction it's going to go so this is going to tell it to turn on the direction and this is going to turn on the, the pump motor now remember we talked about these diodes in here these two connect together if you notice that here they connect together so if I'm using this one it's going to come down here and tell the motor to turn on but it's not going to send power back up this way and vice versa if I'm using the up button or the south button it's going to go ahead and turn the power on for the pump and then it's going to tell the solenoids which direction to, to go but it won't put any power back this direction it won't work unless you do this you you could burn something up i don't know i'm not a professional again this is at your own risk then i got my yellow and green ready for my uh, uh winch and then i got my black and my orange for my positive wire I got my brown for my negative wire I know I'm gonna hear a lot about my solder work I'm I just do this for fun or necessity to get things done around here so you know don't mind the solder it is what it is I know these are crimps but I like to solder them uh, I think it's a little better connection so is what it is you can do it the way you want to do it uh, if you have any questions uh, you got to let me know I'm gonna get this thing hooked up and then I'll show you guys how it works okay so we got it all wired up this here is the remote it has this little chip it's kind of like a safety if it's not in here it won't work so then you can just go start and then we can go up <laughs> As you can see, it works up and down, and then we can do this, and then we can also do up and the winch. So you can do two functions at one time. I'll show you here inside what it looks like. So you can see where the two wires go to the solenoid and the other two wires go to the direction up or down and then you can see here we have the negative the brown to the negative we have the black and orange to the positive and then we have the green and yellow going to the winch and we have this mounted in here yep all right, thanks for watching.